what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. We have another collaboration tutorial between Alessandro Boncio and myself, and we're gonna be doing a jump to hyperspace or time warping effect, like this transition that you can see here. Something similar to this. So in Cinema 4D, we're gonna hit Shift C and we're gonna type in emitter and we'll hit enter. So we have an emitter here. We're gonna rotate it so it is shooting its little particles straight up and we're gonna change the size of this emitter to 1920 by 1080 so that it will match our render here. And uh, then we need to add a camera here. So we'll put in a camera, we'll look through the camera and let's zero out the coordinates and let's change the rotation to zero and make sure that the pitch is set to minus 90. And that way it's gonna be looking down at the particles. Now, if we wanna frame up the particles, one thing you can do is click on the item you wanna frame up and then in the viewport hit S and it's gonna frame it up uh, right in the center. So that's a nice little tip. Whatever is in here, if we had a cube in here and it was say position over here, click on it, hit S, and it'll frame up exactly on that spot. So a little tip there, hit uh, S on that emitter. These particles are now shooting straight at the camera. You can see that they're coming at the camera. Let's uh, pause this quick. You can see that it's not quite filling up the frame. Let's just zoom in a tiny little bit so it's filling up the full frame. All right, so now that we have our particles, we need to uh, make tracers so that they have little tails on them. So click the emitter, hit Shift C to pull up your search bar, type in tracer, and then hit enter. And in this tracer, let's uh, hit play to see what's going on here. Let's change the limit instead of none. Let's go to end so that they have a tail on their end. And on the amount, we can now kick that up to say 10. And now each particle has a little trailing tail on it. All right, so now they're all just shooting straight out at the camera and we want it to make it look like they're originating from the center here and kind of having that warping effect. And we're gonna do that by clicking on the emitter and then going to simulate forces and we're going to use a field force. Inside of that field force, we are going to add a spherical field. So add a spherical field and you can see that uh, it's kind of sucking into the middle here. Let's change the size to something pretty big, 1500 maybe. Let's turn off the uh, remapping here. So if we go to that spherical field, we can click on it here. Under the remapping tab, let's uncheck that enable remapping. And then we'll have this effect, which is pretty crazy, but we're getting somewhere. So we'll go back to our field force. We'll just turn the strength way down, something like one. And now we're getting somewhere where it sort of looks like it's originating from the center. All right, from here, all we have to do is animate a couple of parameters. Let's go to our field force under the strength and let's go to maybe frame 25. Let's click uh, keyframe for strength, that one. And then let's go to that emitter and let's find the speed. Let's kick the speed up to 500 and let's make a keyframe. Now let's go back to the beginning and turn that speed down to zero, make a keyframe. Go to that field force and take the strength down to zero. And this way it's gonna be growing on the strength and the speed. So we'll grow it on and then we need to transition it off. So maybe around frame 70, we'll go to the strength and we'll kick that off. And we'll go to our emitter and we'll turn the speed to zero and make a keyframe. And now we should have it growing on and then growing off. And I did notice one thing, you can see that it gets a little crazy at the end. One thing I forgot to do was in the velocity type under the field force, change the velocity type to set absolute velocity instead of add to. And let's make sure we set that and let's take another look at it. And then we're gonna get that nice effect. All right, so let's go to our field force and turn off the little stoplight on the top one just so we can visualize things a little bit better and see what it looks like. And you can see that we're having that really nice time warping effect. Huge shout out to Alessandro as always for finding this great technique. Thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. I hope that you enjoyed the tutorial and learned something new. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.